I'd like to dig a little bit deeper into the concept of orbitals, which is something you learn about in chemistry class. So an orbital is just a representation of the regions around the nucleus of an atom where an electron is most likely to be found when we're measuring it. And they have all different shapes. You learn about them in chemistry and physics. The simplest shape is a spherical region around the nucleus. Right? That's called an S orbital, S for spherical. But there are more complicated shapes. You have the dumbbell shapes that kind of have a lobe up above and down below the nucleus, and you have those dumbbells oriented along different axes, up and down, sideways, and so on. And that would mean the electrons would be more likely to be found inside of those dumbbell envelopes when we do measure them. So it's, it's hard for us to visualize, but we can graph the real part. We can graph the imaginary part to sort of visualize what they look like. So the wave nature of the electron is a well-established cornerstone of modern physics and chemistry. It's not just some weird, quirky idea, but it's a crucial aspect of how atoms interact, how they form bonds with each other, which is all of chemistry, how uh, they create the diverse matter that we see in the universe. And this wave behavior has been confirmed through countless experiments and forms the foundation of quantum mechanics and modern chemistry. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.